Alright everyone, Cowboy Trades here, welcome back to the channel for a quick update on Cardano ADA. So, Cardano looks like it's setting up for a pretty brutal move right now. Uh, there's some very important retests of some very important ranges in the higher time frames playing out, and while in the lower time frames we're still easing up a bit in the past few days, the Cardano BTC pair may be a leading indicator of what's next to come as it comes down and breaks into new bear market lows. Let's talk about all of this and more, starting off with the lower time frame so if we look at what's going on in the altcoin market you can really see the altcoin market is running into a crucial area of resistance right now and while the altcoin market is running into this resistance a lot of altcoins are looking pretty weak over on the daily time frame you can see at this moment in time ada is setting up a pretty convincing bear flag bearish pennant right now with a price target all the way down at 23 to 24 cent now what's interesting about this is if we look at this price target for this bear flag, this beautifully correlates with a retest of the bottom that we had over on the 30th of December, once again, just underneath 34 cent. You can see if we are looking at the Fibonacci from the swing low up to the swing high, we broke up, came all the way back down, hit the 618 Fib, and now we got pushed up to the 382, and it looks like we're starting to show uh, some weakness in the market right now with today's doji candle. If we pull up the stochastic RSI, you can see while we have pushed up to the 382 after this 618 Fibonacci retest, you can see how quickly the stochastic RSI uh, literally went from zero to 100. And it looks like uh, we haven't quite topped out and flipped bearish once again yet, uh, but with this indecision candle showing up on the daily time frame, it's looking like this bear flag may be in play for Cardano very, very soon. Now, if we zoom out a little bit further on the daily time frame, like I said, uh, there will be some ranges that we talk about on the weekly time frame, some important levels that we are retesting. Uh, but coming over to the daily, you can see if we look at the lows that were established for the ADA market back in May, you can see we held this red box as support. So this was previously green. This was support on the wicks. Support, 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 support. We had a SFP pattern, a swing failure pattern to the downside of this range. This was a failed move, equals a fast move in the opposite direction. We retested the top of the range where we really solidified this previous support as resistance. And that is when we absolutely started to nuke into the December lows. Now, when we topped out at the top of this range that was previously the bottom of this range over here, we topped out round about 44 cent. And as you can see, we retested this a few weeks ago, round about 42 cents. So we are showing weakness right now. We are pushing down a little bit. We are making lower lows and lower highs all across this market structure. And with this most recent pull to the downside, uh, still in the daily time frame, but if we do zoom in a bit, you can see drawing from the high down to the low, uh, getting rid of this Fibonacci to cause no confusion. We broke down, pushed back up, we pushed into the golden ratio, uh, almost into the 618 Fibonacci, broke back down, pumped back up, and quite recently, literally today, we pushed up to the 0.5 Fibonacci, and we are showing extreme weakness in the market right now, uh, while a lot of the oscillators are telling us uh, that we're also gearing up for that next move back down. You can see this daily retest as well, we clear up all of the unimportant uh, moving averages over on the EMA ribbons. Just looking at the short term moving average and the long term moving average, we're sitting right at the bottom of the EMA ribbons right now. 34 cent is the price to keep your eyes on. Uh, we're showing a lot of weakness, like I said, with today's doji candle. In fact, uh, we had a doji candle just over here with a huge, huge spinning top. And, you know, this did allow us to push all the way to the bottom of the bearish pendant. So, in the immediate short term, I do see us pushing back down, coming down to the point. 5 Fibonacci, round about 33 cent. This is really not a major move that you need to keep your eyes on. This is only about 3.65%. But then obviously, if you do lose 33 cent, uh, and especially if you break beneath it and back test, you know, 33 to 34 cent, you could be confirming this bear flag, bearish pen, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the longer this takes to play out, the more likely this will be to be a bearish pennant. But considering all of the markets are showing weakness right now, considering how the altcoin market over on the total two is retesting this crucial downtrend right now, while the Bitcoin dominance is skyrocketing, this is showing me that the altcoin market is about to to show some major weakness into the market. So daily time frame, you know where I think we're going. I think we're going to be coming back down to these lows. Uh, of course, there are some price targets to keep your eyes on in the short term. 
33 cent if we do lose this level retest it and break to the downside of this bear flag uh, then you will obviously want to keep your eyes on the 618 Fibonacci pretty much your last line in the sand down at 30.08 cent uh, we are also portraying a rounding top formation right now so if we do start rocketing down then you know obviously this level here the 618 is not very convincing to me i think the next level to bounce from would be the 786 fibonacci at 27.8 cent but of course down here retesting the previous lows at 24 cent is what i've got my eyes on in the lower time frames now Coming over to the weekly time frame, like I said, I would also talk about some crucial ranges that we are retesting in the higher time frames. If we start off with just the moving averages, if we hide the EMA ribbons, you can see, obviously, in terms of the Fibonacci's, we've long lost all of our last lines in the sand. We are kind of just breaking down, looking at these reversions to the mean. Uh, since we did lose the, or since we retested the 618 Fib, you can see we back-tested the uh, bull market support bands, broke down lower, we then pushed up, back tested the bull market support bands, broke down lower, back tested the bull market support bands, broke down lower, and obviously we've been retesting these bull market support bands for you know the past couple of months or so. So uh, we are showing major, major weakness right now. You can see weekly time frame is also a doji candle showing indecision as the altcoin market retests this crucial level and also like i said at the start of the video bitcoin dominance going up is not going to be good for ada ada btc or ada usd for that matter so uh, looking at the weekly time frame as well this is also kind of looking like a bark pattern right now with also a price target all the way back down at the lows at 24 cent uh, this is coming into beautiful confluence with what we've got over here with the bear flag price target uh, weekly time frame as well uh, what i do want to highlight before we do pull up the ema ribbons is the last time we pushed up and exceeded the bull market support bands and had a failed move equals a fast move in the opposite direction so you can see over here when we retested the 618 Fibonacci, this was the last time we were above the bull market support bands. This was round about $1.25. We pushed up above this for a few weeks and then we broke to the downside. And as soon as we lost these bull market support bands, you can see the stochastic RSI had a bearish flip as we were reverting back to these higher time frame moving averages. And we absolutely nuked on the stock and this correlated to a absolute meltdown for the price action. Now, I'm gonna talk about the stock in a little bit more detail in just a second, but you can obviously see in terms of the bull market support bands, we've retested this and we're sitting right at the bottom, showing extreme weakness for not only ADA, but the altcoin market cap in general. Now, if we get rid of the bull market support bands temporarily, you can also see EMA ribbons, just another way of putting a spin on things. Uh, the last time we were above the EMA ribbons, uh, specifically the short-term moving average, you can also see the same story here uh, came into confluence with the stock stochastic and this was calling for a major major move back down to the downside but what i want to show you is over on the bull market support bands and specifically what happens with the stochastic rsi so you can see the stochastic rsi beautifully called the bull market top for cardano we had a huge meltdown to the downside the stochastic was calling for a bounce we had a nice bounce into the bull market support bands stochastic rsi cross bearish we had a huge move back down into new lows we con continued to lollygag pumped back up which was also called by the stock the stochastic cross bearish here we had a nasty melt back down to the downside it called for a bounce we had a slight bounce back into the bull market support bands and then the stochastic moved all the way from basically you know 85 86 all the way down to zero and this correlated to another absolute meltdown to the downside and once again you can see the stochastic rsi is it, it pushed up to 100 so completely overextended and this came into confluence with once again another beautiful retest of the bull market support band so it is looking like this chart over here is specifically calling for ada to have a nasty move to the downside in fact since the stock cross bearish you can see it's moved down a sizable amount but what i want to show you now is what's happened exactly every single time the stochastic has called for a bearish flip so bear in mind i'm not going to be drawing it to the wick up here uh, because as you can see the stochastic did not cross from the uh absolute top over here it crossed right here so bear in mind when we are looking at the price drawdowns that the stochastic has called uh we're really going to be focusing on when the stock told you that we're crossing bearish not from the absolute wick to the upside because it'd be a little bit more brutal if we did that so 
over here the stochastic rsi called for a 75 percent drop in drop in the market over here you can see the stochastic crossed right around here once again not the exact top but we proceeded to break down 60 percent over here the stochastic cross bearish called for a nasty move to the downside we broke down 57 percent so on average you know these are sitting if we're looking at the conservative range it's fair to say that expecting round about a 60 percent drop not taking into consideration this data point uh that you know this is the type of move we can be expecting when the weekly stochastic crosses so once again not drawing from the absolute wick all the way up here drawing from when the stochastic cross bearish if we're looking at round about a 60 percent drop in the market this could take us down to about 15.5 cent now this price target before i recorded this video i was looking at the confluence and like i said in the lower time frames we've got confluence round about this 15 cent price target this price target down here at uh, oh sorry the, the price target down here at 24 cent in the higher time frames we also see this repeat price target once again if we're looking at 15.5 cent if we come over we'll look at the oscillators and other oscillators in just one second uh, and also you can see we are get kind of getting stuck and trading within this range if we draw this out you can see there has been previous volume traded over on the vpvr telling us that you know this was likely a region that we were going to bounce from as liquidity uh, will be provided in this market now as you do break down to the downside where does volume start to step into the market well you can see this big volume profile over here and specifically this cluster right here now you do also see another huge cluster down at nine cent you see the major uh, amount of volume traded in the market down at four cent but let's take things one price target at a time this huge volume profile right here if we drag this one out where is this going to be saying that ada could potentially be dropping to well the top of the volume profile is a 55 percent drop down to 15.75 cent and the bottom of this is round about 14 cents so we're also seeing confluence with you know what the stochastic rsi is calling for a sizable move to the downside and we're also seeing that there's a lot of volume uh, a lot of interest previously traded around about this range you can see this was a previous high then this was flipped to support and if we clear up this chart you can see further back in history that this trading range was also a high also a low uh, and we spent a decent amount of time trading around here obviously only like a month or two uh, but you know when we are looking at the parabolic move that we had to the upside it's no surprise that this is the next area where data has been traded because you can see just huge huge runs up to the upside with only a few weeks uh, worth of data spent in these regions and you can see when you have these huge green candlesticks to the upside with no data traded no chop no you know breaking back down holding support establishing trading ranges when you just go up in a straight line when you lose you know the support of these ranges you go down in straight lines as well and where do you drop down to you drop down to where volume has previously been traded in the market so that's why we're kind of lollygagging around here right now for cardano once again, we're seeing a lot of confluence in the lower time frames telling us that 24 cent is in the table. In the higher time frames, of course, this is not a price target for next week. Maybe not even next month. This may take a few months to get down to, uh, but 15 cent is definitely looking like it is on the table. Uh, higher time frame oscillators, we're talking about the weekly at the moment. You can see the stochastic RSI, as we've already discussed, has a lot of room to move back down to the downside. The MFI is sitting at 64, exceeding the heart line with lots of room to move to the downside and the squeeze momentum indicator for the first time since uh we were trading on this bounce over here so if we get rid of these two get rid of this get rid of the mfi you can see the last time that we pushed into light green and we're showing extreme weakness right now because it is so so flat but the last time we were in light green was when we had a bounce from one dollar and 91 cent up to about up to about two dollars and forty cents so we had a sizable bounce up over here and the stochastic flipped temporarily bullish and we're seeing the same thing right now but with a lot more weakness in the market so uh, a lot of the oscillators right now the squeeze momentum indicator bear in mind as we're in neutral territory uh you can expect a big big move down uh, to the downside like this if that is the direction uh, that the markets decide to choose so that's pretty much all i've got for cardano i also do want to reiterate if you are in cardano right now if you are in altcoins in general you are taking up a lot more risk than is necessary uh, altcoins are useful to hold in a bull market and if you're going to hold any cryptocurrency in a bear market it should be bitcoin or just sit on the sidelines with cash waiting for bullish momentum to come back into the markets because you can see 
if you've been holding Cardano instead of holding Bitcoin, uh, for example, you are now down 80% against Bitcoin in this bear market. Now, I'm not saying there's never going to be a time to pivot back into altcoins like this, uh, but for right now, it's looking like, at least in my opinion, this is probably where we're going to be coming down to. Maybe another 37 38% drop uh, from Cardano's BTC pair. Bitcoin dominance is shooting up. The altcoin market is running into a crucial area of resistance. And with that being said, whether you're looking at the lower time frames calling for 24 cent, or whether you're looking at the higher time frames calling for moves down to 15 cent, uh, things are not looking good for the altcoin market. And the next move for Cardano specifically whether you're looking at ADA USD or whether you're looking at ADA BTC, the next move for Cardano is looking to be a brutal one. So for today, my friends, that's all I've got. If you do enjoy my content, let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment. Share the videos with your friends. If you want more ADA updates, let me know in the comment section down below. Not typically something I cover, uh, but I am trying out a few new altcoin pairs to see what people do want. If you want to further support the channel, feel free to click on the join button and become a member. Come and follow me over on Twitter at 618 underscore cowboy. But that's all I've got for you today. It's been your boy Cowboy Trades. I'm out. Peace.